Welcome back to episode 9 of the Las Palmas playthrough on my YouTube channel. I'm Ram Daughter, and today we're gonna play against Real Madrid at home in the league. In the last episode, we got a draw against Barca at home in the league, and after that game, I played a match against Getafe. We won that game 1 0 with a late goal from Cagliari. Uh, yeah, the game was pretty much a rotated team ag again, only Cagliari and uh, Gomez of our regular first teamers. Hernan maybe could be considered one, but the rest of the team, very rotated team. And um, goes to get the win there, yes. So today we're gonna play against Real Madrid. Of course they have Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo. We are gonna have a big problem with in defense, but I'm not gonna change my game plan against them. I like what we have done so far with this uh, higher defensive line and closing down. In combination with the anchor man, I think this it's a really good tactic because even if they close down up here, and um, one of them gets caught out of pos uh, position, then we're still gonna have the anchor man who is gonna be there to cover. So the team for the for today, Chichi in goal, Castellano, Gomez, Garcia, because Lemos is injured. Lemos, Lemos picked up an injury against Barca, so he's out for two two more days or four more days. Then Michel, Hernan, Vicente, and up front Vieira, Alilovic, Boateng, and Cayeri. On the bench we have Bigas, Navarro, Fabio, who has been given a few more games lately. Or minutes, I should see. I should say, Sergi Samper, who I like so far. He has been playing fairly well as a second volante, but of course he is lacking the the finishing power of Vicente, and he also now is looking for the pass rather than attempting to score. I wanted to to make sure that he doesn't fire from all angles. His long shots are not good. His finishing is terrible. So. He's better off just passing it around with his vision, his technique, his passing. I think that's much, much more suitable for him. And Tillman, Toledo and Remy also on the bench. Let's get started. Let us get started. The expect expectations cannot be that high against Real with... Uh, oh, they have Garcia in goal. Nacho is a left back, interesting. Ramos Varan central and Cabajal is right back, then Casemiro Kovacic, Kroos more, more offensive, Bale Marlos and Ronaldo. Marlos, let me have a look at Marlos. He is Ukrainian. When did he go there? Seems like he came there. No. He joined them in the summer? I have not heard of Marlos before. Seems like he's Brazilian and then uh, became Ukrainian international to play for the team. Something like that. Which is kind of weird. Just play for the team you're born with. Uh, for your real nation or don't play at all. That's my opinion on that. It's kind of weird when players change uh, their nation, their nationality, just to play for the other uh, national team. Just to get some international football. Bale... It was obvious that he was gonna go there. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have talked about the Marlos that much. Bale with a nice turn, then plays the ball to Ronaldo, who waits patiently and then plays the ball to Bale again, who finishes it off, finishes off the attack. And that's the one nil lead against against us here. But Bale is not in the best physical condition, so he's not gonna play the full 90 minutes. That's for sure. Come on. They already had to make a substitution because of an injury. That's also not too bad. Maybe we can wear them down over time. Ramos to cross. Cross. There's a lot of time here. Alilovic, what are you doing? You have to go. You have to go and get him. Ronaldo, can he get there? No, Castellano to Garcia. Our old experienced center back to Gomez, Hernan, Vicente. Vicente to Alilovic. Alilovic tries to find Boateng but cannot. David Garcia. Vieira with the ball for Cagliari. 
Doesn't get far. Cross now again. Loses the ball to Erlan. Boateng plays a pass to Kayeri. Good ball. Kayeri waits a little bit, finds Viera. Viera one on one with the keeper. Oh, you should score there. Viera should have scored his 10th league goal. Already scored 9. And I'm currently in talks with him to extend the contract. Erlan with a deep free kick. Doesn't get anywhere. Oh, wait, is it a penalty? I think we won a penalty. Yes, we did. Viera will take it. Viera, come on, you have to score this. If you don't score, I'm gonna withdraw the contract offer. You have to score this goal. Score the goal, score the penalty, or your contract offer is gonna be withdrawn. Okay. He scores 1 1 against Real Madrid. We're looking good. We are looking really strong now. I don't know what it is. Is this the, the closing down approach or the higher defensive line? The even higher defensive line that we're playing. Oh, and I'm talking about us, and they have a, have an attack cross. Oh, no offside here. I yes, it has been offside, of course. Good. Encourage them. It's going well so far. It's going really well. Hernan plays to Alilovic, to Kajeri. Has to wait a little bit. Tries to find Vieira, but doesn't find him. Garcia with a risky ball. Risky ball to Michel. Can he do anything? Anything? Boateng. Ball over the top to Cagliari. Cagliari. What? What? Cagliari just scored? I'm lost for words. They really just scored this goal. Boateng with the assist. A nice ball here, but I thought he might have to wait till someone gets in this area, but he just finishes it off. He doesn't care. He doesn't want to wait. Just. Perfect finish from him. That's that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Show me more of that, please, Cagliari. I thought you're a pretty bad finisher. Maybe you're not. Let's have a look at the halftime stats. Bale, of course, was their best player. Cagliari was ours. <laughs> yeah, it was really lucky to score the second goal. It has to be said. But... We could have scored another one earlier. Bale switches to flank to Marlos. Cavajal is a lot of space here on the right wing. Can he do anything? Tries to find space for the cross, but doesn't find it. Castellanos is, is always there. Always there. I like Castellanos as a left back. Even though his rating is fi fairly low in this game, he's actually our second worst player. Alilovic is just gone missing again. Alilovic doesn't show up for big matches. I believe she's gonna come off. I'm gonna bring on. Who am I gonna bring on? I should bring on Toledo. I don't wanna bring on Toledo. Ooh. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Toledo's gonna come on. He brings pace in our team. Actually, I'm also gonna switch something up here. Castellano, you're gonna come off. You're on a yellow card. And now you're gonna come off. You're on a yellow card. I don't want to risk too much with yellow cards there. We don't have any any more changes left, but they are struggling for fitness now. Marcelo, Bale, really struggling. Bale, please, 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 Michel, what are you doing? No red card. I thought you were one of the best players at the club, and now two episodes in a row where you're just the worst player on the pitch. Let's say it like that. Worst player on the pitch. Oh, now, what am I going to do now? Three at the back? Okay, let's into, go into the tactics screen. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Now I have to come up with something. There we go, Thea. Is he fast? Mm, let's have a look who's the fastest out of, out of our defenders. Who's the best in the air? Jumping reach is terrible on him. He's useless in the air. Okay, let's do it like this. We're gonna be uh, not um, not cover. Sorry, a stopper. You're gonna be a stopper. As a central defender, and you are gonna be covering. Then in front of them, we're gonna play the anchor man. Now, what are we gonna do here? We could play it like this. 
but hang on Toledo Toledo is an inverted winger yeah Toledo is gonna be an inverted winger Boateng is gonna be the winger Vieira yeah I'm not gonna switch maybe I'm gonna pull back Vieira to a central midfielder on attack duty and Cagliari is just gonna try to do something out there alone 20 minutes we have to hold out 20 minutes like this Bale with a free kick Kovacic around the penalty area Bale with a long shot no we couldn't <laughs> we didn't even last two minutes oh offside offside okay tighten up tighten up 15 minutes left Ronaldo he's on yellow card Asensio to Bale Bale Davi Garcia is there Boateng now <laughs> dribbling around doesn't have anyone to play the ball to Cagliari Cagliari against four three Vieira Vicente oh Cagliari Cagliari is in the penalty box Cagliari is having the game of his life Jonathan Cagliari is having the game of his life <laughs> like there are those rare games in football that one player wins you a game he just wins you a game on his own and this this game here this is Jonathan Cagliari's game he is winning this game on his own for us with those two goals that nobody would have ever expected of him <laughs> it's, just, uh, it's just amazing he's winning this game single-handedly Cagliari seems like he wants to do even more Toledo to Cagliari again Cagliari Cagliari <laughs> this time <laughs> over the crossbar would have been <laughs> a little bit too much <laughs> it's just crazy what's going on here <laughs> we're about to beat Real <laughs> Real Madrid Nacho to Ramos Bale Asensio tries to find Ronaldo but cannot bail Vicente to Navarro Naravo, Navarro out to Toledo Toledo tries to find Cagliari <laughs> game is over we beat Real at, at home 3-1 Cagliari with this, these two goals that are just breathtaking incredible team effort as well just incredible oh and Cagliari is out for 5-2 six days i hope he's gonna be back in time for the game against valencia and he is now 28 appearances for us 12 goals two assists three times man of the match this was a this could be a career defining appearance for him a career defining uh day it's just a performance of i don't know it's breathtaking absolutely breathtaking I'm gonna find Michel for this terrible uh, sending off and he is not happy with this he thinks the fine was unfair let's have a look I'm gonna ask David Garcia to take care of this and anytime I have to ask David Garcia to do any talks in the team he always delivers like a player comes to me and wants uh, wants more money I ask David Garcia to talk to him and it's the uh, issue is dealt with. It's just an amazing team captain, and one of the reasons that we are keeping the team together. Because a lot of our players wanted to leave as well. Vieira wanted to leave. Cagliari got we got offers for Cagliari in the winter actually. Uh, Vicente wanted a new contract. And none wanted wanted a new contract. Contract. Castellano was unhappy because we sold his twin brother. There's just so much going on, but. Garcia is keeping the team together with his 18 leadership, 18 teamwork. He is just an amazing captain. He's 36 years now, but he just maybe had the game of his life. I'm not sure if he he had a long and great career, but I'm not sure if he had an achievement like today, where we beat Real Madrid. This is a, a date to remember, the third of no no the 10th of March. 18. This is a day to remember. <laughs> With 10 men as well for 20 minutes. And, and still we were able to score another goal. It's just amazing. 
only 716 away fans I wonder is this normal Barca had one more so the difference between Barcelona and Real Madrid is that Barca have one more away fan on Gran Canaria but our away fans actually are even more pathetic seems like teams are really reluctant to come to this island 717 is the record for the season on away fans on, in our stadium and let me have a look yeah it must be what about Juventus? oh Juventus had a lot of away fans here 2300 away fans almost that's a lot it's really a lot it's crazy for a friendly as well well let's have a look at the schedule up next is Valencia and then Malaga Atletico I'm probably gonna show you Atletico why not Malaga and Atletico actually why not Malaga and Atletico I think that's what we're gonna do those early games in April and then maybe one more episode finish of the season two more episodes mm, I'm not sure yet we're gonna see how the season develops if you keep uh, climbing up the league we are at ninth position now we might be able to break into the European qualification spot so if that happens uh, you're gonna see a few more games at the end of the season until then take care leave a like here Leave some feedback here, please. See you next time.